Welcome to the new video tutorial from MindFusion, where we will build this lovely app for registering appointments for a hair salon. The app uses MindFusion scheduling library for .NET MAUI. Users can drag and drop appointments from the list to the right. A new event is created at the time where the image was dropped. The schedule renders timetable view with a single day. We create an empty .NET MAUI app project in Visual Studio. We'll use .NET 7. Let's install the MindFusion scheduling library from NuGet. Here it is. The library is successfully installed. Let's move on building the app. We'll use a grid as layout manager. We need two columns, one for the appointment icons and the other for the scheduler. We have three types of appointments, so the grid needs four rows. Let's add some spacing between rows and columns. We copy to the subfolder images in the resource folder, the three images that will represent our appointments. These are PNG file. Make sure the build action for them is MAUI image. Now we will declare three image elements in the XAML code for our application. Each image requests size 55 by 55 units and is located in grid column 1. The rows of the images are 0, 1, and 2. Let's try to run our application on the phone and see if the images show where they should be. Yes, the images are fine. We'll have to correct the name of the third one. Otherwise, everything so far looks well. Now we will add a new namespace mapping for the MindFusion MAUI scheduler. We will create an instance of the calendar control in the first cell of the grid. The calendar takes all four rows in column 0. Let's give it a name so we can access it in code. Now, if we run the application, we'll probably get an exception.
Yes, that's because we haven't declared the MindFusion scheduler in the MAUI program file. We have to call Use MindFusion Scheduling. Now, the app should run fine. And it does. The scheduler appears exactly where it should be. We have to customize it, but so far everything renders as expected. We add reference to the scheduling namespace and start to customize the calendar. First, the date rendered will be the current date, e.g. today. We want the view to be timetable. Let's check the properties of the MAUI Timetable Settings class. Each calendar view has the adjacent settings property of type view name settings class. For the timetable view, this is the timetable settings class, and it offers a huge variety of options to customize the timetable. We want to show the work time, e.g., the working hours will be styled differently from the rest of the day. We say the salon is open from 10 to 20 o'clock each day. However, we want the timetable to start from 9 and end at 21 o'clock. These hours are given in minutes. We also make some styling adjustments like the size of the timeline, the main header, and the brush for the work time cells. Let's check our timetable now. It looks just lovely. With the minimum effort we've put into our application so far, we have a mobile app that renders the current day and users can type in their appointments. We will set the drag behavior of the calendar to scroll to allow users to drag appointments and to scroll the view. Next, let's give each image a style ID so we can refer to it in code. We are going to add a pan gesture recognizer for each image. We will handle the pan updated event, and we will do it with the same method for all three images.
In the event handler method, we will create the appointments according to the image that was dragged. We need to keep the duration of the appointment, its row index, and the title of the appointment. The event sender is expected to be the image. We check its style ID and adjust the event details. We are going to create now a copy of the image that is being dragged. Once pan starts, we create exactly the same image and we place it at exactly the same location in the grid. During drag, we offset the image copy with the total X and total Y values, which we take from the event data. If you need to learn more about the pan gesture and how to handle it, Microsoft has a nice article. When the drag has finished, we calculate the location where the item has been dropped and request the date at this location. The calendar has a method, get exact date at, which returns the date at the given point. Let's add a list with three colors, which we'll use for the background of a new appointment according to its type. We create an appointment according to the calculated time. We use the title, brush, and duration properties, defined earlier, to specify the header, color, and end time of the appointment. Then we add the new event to the schedule items. Let's not forget to remove the image copy from the grid's children. Before we run the application, let's make one small change. Let's declare the image copy as a class variable. The event handler will be called multiple times, but we want the image copy to stay unchanged during calls. So, now we are ready to run the app. And here it is. We drag an image and an appointment is created when we drop it. We can drop several appointments next to each other, and that's great. We can also drag appointments around the schedule or edit them. Our application is ready.
Thank you for watching this tutorial, and thank you for your interest in Mind Fusion Developer Tools.